See, I, I don't wake up from the actual, like, sound of the fart. I wake up from uh, the smell. Like, the smell gets progressively worse as time goes on. Oh, yeah. This is definitely going to be the pre-intro intro. intro. <laughs> <laughs> What is going on, everyone, and welcome to episode three of the Questions of the Police Box series, where you ask the questions and we answer them. Any question about the Icons SGC and Mod Division projects is allowed, except that age-old question of when is it released or the doctor's name, because we don't even know that. Uh, to find out when a new episode of the Questions of the Police Box series is to be posted, please check out the current week's target channel schedule at schedule.ikingssgc.com. Occasionally, I may be joined by a member of the Icons SGC Mod Division who will assist me in answering the questions you all submit. Uh, this week, as usual, I am joined by Eddie, also known as Edmeister777, who is the programmer of the iKings SGC Mod Division Launcher Hub, and he is also a moderator on the iKings SGC forums. Remember that if you would like to get your questions answered in a future episode of the Questions Out of the Police Box series, to leave your questions in a comment below or post it on the iKings SGC forums, we'll have a greater chance of getting answered quickly. Uh, so let's get on to the first question of the episode. Eddie will ask the questions, as usual, uh, that they were submitted on the Atkins SGC forums and Minecraft forums, and then I will read out the answers. So let's get right on into it. Um, okay, first question is sub submitted by Dagon10Games. The question is, how much of the Doctor will be cha will be changeable? Just the clothes, the attributes, or hair color? Uh, I don't know exactly what will be customizable at the moment, but I believe we can have stuff like bow ties, hats, overcoats, uh, capes, sticks of celery, and umbrellas. So yeah, something along the lines of that sort of thing. I am not sure about the details of the skin yet, as the cutscenes will need to be pre-rendered. However, we will probably be holding a competition for the community to, deci to design the appearance of the 12th Doctor. And we will most likely have two or three different choices and our own default version. All right, second question submitted by Will Saber. Question is, how much of the hub is needed to be finished before it can release, be released to the public? Well, I don't have a clear answer on that yet. However, I can say that the Acnes SEC Mod Division launcher will be released near the same time as Hogwarts RP Experience is ready to relaunch, so you connect directly to it. So you can connect directly to it from the hub, from the hub, uh, without needing to download Spotcraft and all that crap. Obviously, we want to have the core functionality of the iKings SEC Launcher Hub in place and all of the layouts complete before releasing it. Okay, and the third question submitted by Cam314. Question is, will there be a video showing the highlight, showing and highlighting a lot of rooms of the TARDIS? Well, there is already one, but it's extremely outdated, but I just have not found the time to sit there and go through the massive TARDIS map that is constantly growing. Uh, it is very hard to me, very hard for me to build the entire TARDIS interior by myself in addition to all the other massive build projects I have to do by myself. I do want to open up a Icons SEC server that is dedicated to letting the community help build those things. Our current donation goal this month, in addition to the standard web hosting, I have asked people to help us get enough funds to open up the Icons SEC project community build server. But as expected, we have not made any significant progress in that goal, and I can't afford to anything more than the web hosting out of my pocket to host that server, unfortunately. Oh, is that it? Yep. Oh, okay. Sorry, I zoned out. <laughs> blooper, blooper. That's okay. <laughs> okay, third question submitted by Rantman15. And keep in mind, this entire question is in all caps. Why not a crap? Are you kidding me? I just want a Minecraft Slitheen, and you just crush my dreams. When it comes out, I'm not getting it. And in parentheses, he put, if you change your mind, I really want Rexacor... Rexacor... What the fuck? Rexacorco Fallopatorius. Rexacorco Fallopatorius. And I know it's hard to spell, okay? <laughs> I, um, this is funny. I'm sorry, this yeah. is funny. It, it is. So I said... Download it, don't download it, I don't care. We are making a creative Doctor Who Minecraft experience, and there is nothing creative that can be done with the Raxicorco Fallopatorians, nor the Clum. Each story they have featured in uh, it has ended the same way, essentially. And the big farting things end up as gunk on the face, and I realize how bad that sounds. But if you choose to download it, then fine. 
with me, but I don't appreciate the all caps. That being said, the Raxicorcophalopatorians will not go forgotten in the Doctor Who climate. There will be an allusion to them. Um, I'm just, I'm pondering over that question. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm going <laughs> off subject. Okay. Um, th- what question are we on? Five? Uh, Duller Rope 31. I know. I'm just trying to figure boy, out the number. Boy, this is going to be one hell of an episode for me to edit. <laughs> okay, it doesn't matter. Um, submitted by Duller Rope 31. Question is, now I know that you guys said you wouldn't add a Weeping Angel ble- blinking system, but are you making it a- making them able to knock off torches so you can't see them? Wait. Hang on, I just fucked uh, he, up. Okay. He, <laughs> Let me start okay, over with start that question. Okay, start question again. Uh. <laughs> um, now, I know that you said you wouldn't add a weeping angel blinking system, but are you making them able to knock off torches so you can't see, see them, or are you just going to make them just attack you? Uh, well, that is a really good question, and yeah, I know how the spelling errors can throw us off when we're reading these off, but yeah, that is a very good question. Uh, yes, we will be having the Weeping Angels able to suck the energy out of lighting sources such as torches and under, other such things that illuminate the area. That's swagalicious. That's a new word. Okay. Um, next question submitted by BobFet2000, or 200, sorry. Question is: Will you be using a new, the new interior, or staying with the first Smith one? It is neither the new interior nor the first Matt Smith one. It is my own design for the TARDIS interior that uses elements from past interiors, as every new interior has done on the show. All right. Question submitted by N to the T. Question is: Will your character level up as you play, and will he get stronger over time? That, too, is a very good question, and I would like to say that we could have the Doctor level up and get stronger, but it would just be a rehash of the 8th Doctor movie in which we can't remember anything. Uh, by the time the Doctor Who climb on takes place, uh, we are assuming that when 11 regenerates into 12, he is 1,300 years old. And yes, I know that Matt Smith is leaving at the Christmas special, but this was written before that, and we're going to be calling it an alternate continuity from that point on of Matt Smith's regeneration. But getting back onto the point of the question, uh, at that age, there isn't much that the Doctor can really learn that he does not already know. Plus, with the TARDIS Memory Matrix Crystal uh, Quest gameplay and unlocking features that way, I don't think we would need to double up on the Doctor needing to learn new things uh, since the player is learning new things by recovering the crystals. Alright, submitted by Psycho Sick. question is, I have a question about the travel of the TARDIS, like how easy it will make it will be to make travel from one place to another. If you would be so kind as to answer the question, thank you. Smiley face. There will be multiple simple methods for you to use the TARDIS to travel. There is an autopilot, a manual flight with the TARDIS flight GUI, and then there will hopefully be the ability to control the TARDIS from the console itself. You can read more about these systems at the iKings Daily Report archive. Uh, just look for the Daily Report posted on uh, April 5th titled TARDIS Flight GUI Feature Update or just go to the, the Doctor Who Client Mod section on the iKings Jesse's forums and look in the main features for the TARDIS Flight GUI. Okay, this question is submitted by Tisha M- Tisha, Tisha Marinade. I, I read that as m- Marinade, but okay. Yeah. I'm hungry. Okay. Marinade works too. <laughs> Question is Okay. What is it? <laughs> uh, you see. That's <laughs> such a I know, I, uh, I picked this question out of the video because I was just baffled as to how somebody could comment <laughs> on the video and not know what the hell it is. <laughs> I, it just baffled uh, me. Eddie couldn't stop laughing. I couldn't stop. My <laughs> hand was on my forehead, face palming, for at least fifteen minutes when I read this question. And, uh, uh, so, if any of you talk to Tisha Marionade, please, please just give her a high five for the worst question ever asked. I, I think I've seen worse. Okay, well, what, it's in it's, it's in my top there. five. It definitely made yeah, my day. 
So, now <laughs> on to the next special question. Okay. Well, you submitted a question. And this question... Okay. Okay, you actually say this question. Yeah. In the... <laughs> I tried to okay. throw you off. Okay. <laughs> this question was asked in the title of This is Trenzalore Planet Preview video. The question is... Is this Trenzalore? <laughs> uh, no, this planet is not Trenzalore. It is a planet I designed and accepted way back in October, the day that my grandma died. It is supposed to be inspired by a Halloween theme, and while I'm not ready to reveal all the details about this planet yet, I can say that despite the eerie similarities between this planet and Trenzalore, they are two entirely different things created by two entirely different people, and I think Moffat has been spying on me. Uh, all right. Yeah. So... Yeah, that concludes episode 3 of the Questions of the Police Box series. Watch the important links out to find out where to find all the information about the IKEA SGC servers and IKEA SGC Modivision projects. Stay tuned after the important links out to find all the all the bloopers from this video, and there's a lot of them. It wouldn't be a Questions of the Police Box video without bloopers. Actually, my bird is staring me down right now. It hasn't chirped at all during this video, which is incredibly unusual. All right, this question submitted by Psycho Sick. Oh, Psycho wrong. Okay. Uh, <laughs> you just want to start that over? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh boy. I'm sorry. See, it's not even it's not me doing the bloopers this episode. It's you. It's <laughs> unusual. I know. I'm I'm out of it today. That's a first having a smiling face in a question. But, yeah, there will be simple... Whoa, I just screwed up. <laughs> no, the answer is... <laughs> oh, I jinxed myself, but, yeah, there will be... Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, it sucks. You know, you know, it's really weird. Um, sometimes, like, have you ever woken yourself up with a fart? I uh, can't say that I have. See, I, I don't wake up... From the actual like sound of the fart, I wake up from uh, the smell. Like the smell gets progressively worse as time goes on. Oh yeah, this is definitely going to be the pre-intro intro. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm serious, dude. Like I'll be sitting there, and like you know, for the first like minute or two, I'll be like, you know what, it's just gonna go away. And then like five minutes later, it's like I'm surprised I'm not dead at this point. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe we're actually talking about farts. Are you still recording this? Please say you're still recording. Awesome. Yeah. It, it burns nostrils. <laughs> have you have you ever... Elver? What is this, World of Warcraft Elver. now? Have you ever woken yourself up and you feel like you've been falling? Yes, I do that in school all the time. <laughs> I, I, I woke up screaming one time really? in the middle of my really? gut glass. See, it's, it's kind of funny because last night I woke up at like three in the morning and it was like holy shit my lungs were on fire i was sweating like crazy actually this <laughs> sort of sounds like a masturbation story oh god yeah <laughs> I, i'm gonna cut that that probably won't even make it to the bloopers <laughs> speaking of masturbation there's actually someone who was accepted into the mod division team yesterday called new Bader, and i couldn't stop making a masturbation joke about it <laughs> yeah New what does he do? Is he uh, a coder? Artist. My brain, all my creative juices have been eject. Oh no! no. <laughs> <laughs> oh god! Oh this. Ew! <laughs> I didn't know that's where, where your creative juices came from. <laughs> oh my god! Oh wow! Okay. So yeah, uh, that's all for the bloopers, and I'll talk to you on the next video. I hope I haven't horrified you all with my creative juice ejaculations. Oh, oh yeah, this is definitely going to need a parental discretion advised. Uh, okay, now I'm stopping the recording. It won't stop recording! I'm pressing the damn button! Hear this? It won't stop. Oh boy.